And good evening and welcome to DeSanto Field here in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm John Schwartz. Alongside me, head coach Greg Debelak as the Case Western Reserve University Spartans get set to take on Teal College here for their second home game of the year. Coach, uh, obviously a great outing last time against Grove City, a 49-23 to victory. Tell us a little bit about that game and in particular the success of freshman quarterback Drew, Drew Saxton in that game. Uh, 361 yard passing yards passing in the contest. A little bit about what made him so good that game. Well, we, we certainly planned on throwing the ball against Grove City with what they were doing defensively. Uh, that was the game plan, and we came out in a no back empty set, and they had problems stopping it. So we just sort of stayed with it, and I think Drew was I think 16 out of his first 17 passes, just something ridiculous like that, and he he just sort of picked them apart. And it was not a surprise. He's shown the ability to get rid of the ball quickly and make accurate throws since he came in camp this August. So, um, you know, we took advantage of his skills. And, and having uh, a very experienced receiver core around him uh, is also very helpful. So it, it's he, he's in a good place. I think he's in a system that fits him well, and he's surrounded by athletes that can, you know, let him perform to the best of his level. Well, you talk about the system that fits him well, and really it's a very different system than you ran last year when you had Rob Kuda, quarterback. Um, the quick passes this year, the receiving core playing to their strengths. You mentioned in the preseason that's something you tried to do. It seems to be working pretty well right now. Yeah, so far, and teams, I think as we move forward, it'll it'll be the telling part will be how we adjust when teams adjust to us. And I think Drew has enough ability to make all sorts of throws and, and read defenses that if teams take away the short throws that we can go to the deep throws and, and vice versa. So, you know, the, the issue is uh, we don't have a running quarterback in there, and that was such a big part of our offense the last three years with Rob that, you know, we've adjusted as coaches. And again, it's a constant chess game with, you know, what coordinators do against us. And hopefully we'll have enough, you know, in our toolbox to, to adjust to whatever we see this year. You know, we'd be remiss if we didn't talk about the game that Colt Morgan had at receiver for you guys. Four touchdown receptions in the game. Uh, he has five so far through the first two games of the season. He's a guy who really didn't pick up football until late in his high school career. Uh, what does he bring to the table and what's made him so successful so yeah, far this Colt, year? Colt was a basketball player, and that is basically what he brings to the table. He, he's a big guy um, that uses his body well to screen out defenders and catch the ball. Um, he's still learning. You know, and he has come a long way, but he is still in a process of learning how to be a, a good all-around receiver. He's a matchup nightmare. You know, he's six five. He's two hundred and ten pounds. He runs well. I mean, there's 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 nothing not to like if if he lines up for you at receiver, and a big problem for other teams' defenses. You know. On the Case Western Reserve defense, your linebacker core, you replaced pretty much everyone in your two deep. I think Isaac Withrow, the only player who was on the two deep last year uh, that is starting a linebacker for you this year. Can you take us through that group's transition? Because it's a group that's played fairly well despite limited experience coming into the year. Yeah, and that's, you know, we're, it's a work in process. You know, they're learning as they're going along. Uh, what makes them stand out in my mind is that there is some athleticism there. There's some kids with some very good quickness, some very good athletic ability. Uh, they just don't have the experience and are still kind of learning as, as we go through. Um, you know, it's, it's challenging uh, because coming from a group that were a lot of three and four year starters on that defense last year, particularly in the, in the linebacker core, that they just could make adjustments automatically and, um, you know, they knew how to prepare for a game. You know, we're just kind of teaching these guys what they need to do. Um, and, and so far, it's, it's, it's been good. It, it could get a lot better, though. Last year against Teal, you guys had a resounding victory, uh, scored 63 points in the game, set a number of records. Coming into this year's game, obviously a new group, but is there a little bit of a move by the coaching staff to kind of make sure they forget last year and focus on this year? I don't know if these guys remember what happened in last practice. Uh, I don't think we're going to worry about that. Um, Teal is, is improved. Um, you know, the, the win-loss record doesn't show it, but they are playing better playing a little bit different, um, not giving up as many big plays on defense and offensively committing to throwing the ball, which they were a very run-oriented team last year. So, um, you know, we've prepared them. Um, you know, I, it's tough. Again, young guys, their mindset, I'm not sure if, and they're not very vocal either. That's the other thing. They, they do not tend to communicate well with each other or us. That's the thing we're working on also. Uh, but yeah, I don't think we're thinking about last year. I think it's just just trying to make improvements week, weekly. 
Okay, Coach. Well, thank you very much. We'll be back in just a minute. Kickoff coming up between Case Western Reserve University and TO here at DeSanto Field when we come back.